Today we're going to take a look at a new kind of puzzle, age puzzles. And what better way to celebrate a birthday than with a beautiful cake that has square roots and a pie candle. That's everyone's dream. It's mine. I'm sure it's yours also. Now let's take a look at our first example with Bill and Peter. The key to these puzzles is really keeping your information organized, working through step by step. They're getting a little more challenging now. But if you take what you have for information, organize it, and work through, they're actually not that bad. Let's take a look. On the first example, we have Bill. And what they tell us that Bill is three times as old as Peter. That's what's happening right now. And then they go on to tell us a little bit more information. They tell us that 18 years from now, so we're looking 18 years into the future, that Bill will be twice as old as Peter. And the question is, how old are they today, right now? Well, there's a few things they gave us. They gave us some information about today. Today, Bill is three times as old as Peter. Then they tell us something about what will happen in the future in 18 years. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a table, a nice short table, just to organize the information that we have. And so here's what I'll have. In the first column, I'll put the guys that I have. I have Bill and I have Peter. My first column, I'll put what I know about right now. Well, what I know right now is that Bill is three times as old as Peter. I know nothing about Peter's age at all. So I'll call Peter X and Bill is three times as old as Peter, so he'll be 3x. Now, the next piece of information tells us about in 18 years. 18 years from now is plus 18. So in 18 years, if Bill is 3x right now, in 18 years he'll be 18 more. 3x plus 18. Peter right now is x years old, however many that is. In 18 years, he will be 18 more, so he will be x plus 18. Now you might be wondering, well wait a minute, why didn't we use this piece here? Bill will be twice as old as Peter. Well, we don't use that for our table. What we use for the table is what we know about now, and then we add or subtract if we're going into the future or into the past. We use that other piece of information to write the equation that we'll use to solve the problem. Bill will be twice Peter. So Bill, 3x plus 18, will be, that's the future tense of the word is, remember is means equals, so will be also means equals, twice Peter. Well, here's Peter. Twice Peter is two times that. And so now what I've done is I've used what I know about in 18 years and written, written it into the equation. Bill will be twice Peter. And I recommend actually writing this out. To me, it's very helpful to write Bill will be twice Peter, and then I can just fill in the blanks. I recommend doing that. Now we go through and solve the equation, and we find out that x equals 18. Now we've got to make sure that we answer the question. The question that they ask us is, how old are they now? Well, let's see. Peter is x, so Peter must be 18 years old. Bill is 3 times x, so Bill must be 54 years old. The last thing I always do, ask myself, does the answer make sense? If it says, for example, that Peter is 327 years old, that wouldn't make much sense. Well, those do make sense, and let's just see if they fit the puzzle. Bill is three times as old as Peter. Well, that's three times 18. That looks good. All right. In 18 years, Bill will be twice as old as Peter. Well, I can plug the numbers in here and see if it actually works. So the answer does make sense. It's pretty logical. So this is how you solve a problem where they want you to find out the ages. However, what if they don't want you to find out the ages? What if you want to find out in how many years or how many years ago? Our second example will show us how to work with that kind of a problem. Let's take a look at that. Here we have Helen and Arlene. And we know that Helen is 40 years old, and we know that Arlene is 20. So the table actually is pretty easy to fill out. We have Helen and Arlene. And how old are they now? Well, 40 and 20. So that part was easy. Now, the next part is where we have to think for a moment. How many years ago? We don't know how many years ago. And when we don't know something, we call that x. Now, years ago means in the past. So we're talking about x years ago. So when we go back in time, we subtract. So x years ago is 40 minus x. 
and x years ago for Arlene is 20 minus x. Think about it for a second. If it was, say, 5 years ago, we would say, well, 40 minus 5. If it was, say, 20 years ago, we'd say 40 minus 20. It's x years ago, so it's 40 minus x and 20 minus x. Now, once you have your table filled out, then go back into the problem and let's write our little statement so that we can use our equation. It says, Helen was three times as old as Arlene. So Helen was three times Arlene. And I actually wrote that right here just to keep things a little organized. Helen was three times Arlene. So Helen, 40 minus x, was, that's the past tense of the word is, and that means equals, so 40 minus x equals three times Arlene. So three times 20 minus x. And don't forget to put the 20 minus x in parentheses because it's three times whatever that age is. Go through and solve the equation and x equals 10. And so since we're talking about x years ago and x is 10, it must be 10 years ago. In our next example, we have one that's just like the first one that we did where we have to find the ages. And what I'm going to ask you to do is work through that step by step. After you complete the table, come back to the video and check that part. Once you know your table's correct, then go through and solve the equation. So I'm going to ask you to please pause the video here and then we'll take a look at your table once you finish that. Let's take a look at the table. In example three, we have Robert is half as old as his father. 12 years ago, Robert was a third as old as he was. How old are they now? Well, let's take a look at the table here. We have Robert and his father, and their ages now, Robert is half as old as his father. We know nothing about the father's age, so the father is x, and Robert is one half x. Now, we're looking back 12 years, 12 years ago, and so that's minus 12. We're going back in time. So Robert was one-half x minus 12. And Dad was x minus 12, going 12 years back. That's what your table should look like. Now we go through and we write the equation. Robert was one-third of his father's age. So Robert was one-third of his father. Robert, one-half x minus 12, was equals one-third of his father, one-third of x minus 12. We solved the equation, we got x equals 48. That means dad was 48, and Robert here is 24, half of that. And so that's what you should look like. You should be sure that you have your table completed, that you have your statement written out, your equation written and solved, and then your final conclusion. And that's what a good problem would look like. These are really fun puzzles once you get into them. Now the final question, this is probably my favorite, it's about Mr. Atkins and Mr. Speyer, and you're going to love this one because we're looking back to find out how many years ago something happened. This is just like problem number two. Once again, I'm going to ask you to pause the video, use number two as a guide, see if you can set up the table, then come back and check the table, and then work through and solve your equation, and we'll see how you do on that. Let's take a look at example four. Here we are. Mr. Atkins is 33 and Mr. Speyer is 27. Now, Mr. Atkins is pretty special to me. He, there was actually Mr. Atkins in the town where I grew up and he had an apple orchard and he had really good big cookies that you could buy at this apple orchard. So it was always a treat to go there. But that was quite a few years ago and for all we know, he may be dead by now. But in this problem, Mr. Atkins is alive and well and Mr. Speyer is also. Mr. Atkins is 33, Mr. Speyer is 27. And we want to know how many years ago Mr. Atkins was one and a half times the age of Mr. Speyer. Well, here's our tape. We have Atkins and Speyer, now 33 and 27. Now, how many years ago? Well, that I don't know. So I'm going to call that x. So 33 minus x and 27 minus x. Now that I have my ages x years ago, I'll use what they gave me here to write the equation. Atkins was one and a half times Mr. Speyer. 
So Atkins was 1.5 or 1 and a half. You could write it as a fraction or a decimal. Spire. So 33 minus x equals all right, 1.5, 1 and a half times the 27 minus x. And when we solve, we get x equals 15. Now, x represented the number of years ago, and so it looks like it was 15 years ago when this information was true. And so, given the ages now and some information about the future or the past, you can easily go through and write an equation to solve that problem. And this is how you solve pro puzzles that involve ages.